What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Bowling Green Dynasty Rebuild. Hey, yeah. And in today's episode, we got another top 25 matchup on the schedule. And guess who we got to play? Y'all done already seen it. Michigan, the old Wolverines. We trying to tame the Wolverines today. Hopefully, Michigan is currently number 19 in the top 25 right now. They do have three losses, but this team is good. I already know it. I ain't got to look at the stats. I ain't got to look at the overalls. I already know this team is good, so we cannot take them lightly. But Michigan is next up. Michigan fans are ready to welcome the undefeated Falcons into the big house. I hope you welcome us with open arms because we come with gifts. And hopefully one of those gifts is a big L. <laughs> But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. Also, hop in the comment section, talk to your boy, talk to the chat, me and the chat, we talk back. You can believe that, sucker. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about ready to hop into this game. What about y'all? Let's do it. All right, we got the team stats here. Let's take a look at number 19, Michigan, as their offense seems to be okay. Number 15, as far as rushing. Not so great as far as passing. Total yards is middle of the pack. Points is okay. On the defensive side, they don't give up that many points, but they do allow 394 total yards, 189 passing, and 204 rushing. On the BG side, on our side, you know our offense is off the chain. Number one in points, number one in yards, number five in passing, and number 17 in rushing. On the defensive side, we are great at defending the run, not so much with the pass, which leads to us being kind of in the middle of the pack or above average in total yards and above average in points. All we have to do is play our game and we will win this game easily. Top players from Michigan, we got a 96 overall wide receiver, a 93 overall middle linebacker, and a 92 overall defensive tackle. For your Falcons, of course, it's Jimmy Warren, B. Hill, and now they got Nick Wiley up there. I have a question for you guys. Do you think we should transfer Nick Wiley to another team? Because I don't play him a whole lot. I mean, sure, we would need him if Jay got hurt. But at the same time, Nick, he really isn't playing a lot. I was just wondering, what do y'all think about that? I don't know. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports da, NCAA da, Football 14 pregame show presented by da, da, Nissan. Da, da, Innovation da. that excites. It's time the to play another game. Being ranked number one now and being ranked number one early in the season. Early in the season. Happy New Year, everybody. I am playing this episode on January, <laughs> on January 1, 2023. No room for misstep. If you want to bring it in the new year the right, the right way. NCAA Get it out, man. Yes! I still ain't fixed that problem. <laughs> David and I will see at halftime. But well, let's go. Let's go, BG. Yeah. They don't want to see me. Bitch. You know I'm the AC. Hey, yeah. And we got good D. Fuck. Pause. My offense, what you know, is lit. Yeah, and you know, my linebackers and Eric Rams they like to hit. Yeah, because we got the hit stick. Oh. Yeah, over 35 million. Fans we do have some brown and orange in here today. Since it opened in 1927, and Alex had nice to see that we aren't Zero. totally outnumbered. Coca Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy every field for the first drive of the game. All right, this is senior day for the Michigan players, and we are trying to spoil it. And we leave a guy open. All right, I need to go, man. Michigan's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And 
and of course Tell you what, this we held them start to, get pressure on the to nothing on the initial play, and then he just takes off running, the and he gets wide open. And we have a wildcat formation here. Pretty sure this is going to be run. No. He's knocked out of bounds. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle made. The 24 Okay. I'll tell you something. Bro, they haven't ran the ball yet. And there's a run, and he can't get over there. And Eric Ram is going to get blocked, and it's a touchdown. Why did I speak it up? Because I was definitely not looking for a run. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. And missed him completely. Great job by the defense. There he has a nice hole. And they make the there you go, Joe. He sails it long. And of course he overthrows it. Doesn't get there. Kind of glad there he did. There's no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Got it. And he goes down quickly. And complete a pass. Denied. All right, the get there. We're going for it. Well, they didn't need much. Definitely so going for it. Always go for it on four and one. Agree with this call. And Joe got tackled from behind. Play action rolls to his right. That's out of bounds. Okay. Tackle after a Third and five. There we go, Mike Potts. Right to the receiver. He's tackled at the 31. Mike Potts, the one-stop shop for TDs and occasional blocks and first downs. Ah, too far to the inside. The defense always need that going to more to the outside. Up. Run away from Joe. Way to the 20 yard line. That's easy. That's easy. Mike Potts TD. Mike Potts is the one stop shop for TDs and occasional blocks and other things we will not discuss on YouTube. Let's go. Very impressive. Run right side. And he has it on the corner. Oh, that's not good. Tackle at the 34 yard line. Now they're killing us with the run. At first it was pass, pass, pass down the field. And then run. And now it's run. Oh boy. Stop. There we go, Michael Jackson. Bring him down at the 38. With the TFL. That's a great stop by the All Americans. This guy is such a great. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Come down, ball! Ah! Bring him down, Black Adam. Him down at the 42 Another TFL. We got TFLs for sale. Uh oh. As a run, bring them down. There we go. Looks like they're in field goal range. They'll go field goal safe. And there's a false start. It's going to back it up five yards. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Back it up and re kick. You damn Michigan Wolverines. CPU is saying they don't have the leg for this. Yeah. It's up. And they don't. Well, they do, but they miss it wide right. The Hawkeyes take the field today. And we got Iowa up on Illinois right now, 3-0 in the first quarter. Hawkeyes trying to get their seventh win on the season, and so is Illinois. Hey, Joe, pick up their five. They'll work the left side. Ah, first down. There we go. Okay, go got a couple blocks over here. And All right. Around the 31 yard line. We'll take that. First First it's Joe catching passes. Oh, yeah. He's going to air it long. Is that short? No, it's a TD. Dropped it right in the bread basket. And White Potts likes bread. 
He loves getting fed. He scores his second and rolling up them hog legs. Wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move too. No. Gets out back to the run. Ah, he cut back inside on me. Damn. Right there. On the ground, and that KA with a TFL on the play. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we do have a lead here in the big house. All this blue and yellow the out here. Lit up in that first 15 minutes. 14, 7, with a little orange three. and brown sprinkled in. But we out here doing our thing. Bring him down. Third and six. And who, who left the halfback wide open, bro? Come on, man. I wasn't even blitzing on that play, so there was no reason for that man to be wide open. Bring him down. Who was that, Michael Jackson? Amazing. Bring him down. Go there. Under pressure. And it's better down. Freddy. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers. Yeah. The kick is up. No one be right down the middle. The that one looked like cake. And we still kick. have a lead. Three points for the offense. 14-10. Bowling Green. This one off. Yeah. Massey takes it at the four. Got the corner. At the 30. Zach Massey. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 44-yard line. Four-point lead. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Two-yard loss okay. for the halfback. Now he tries to buy some time. Tries to tuck it in and he's got space. <laughs> he's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. All right, we trouble. get the first down and Steps get out of bounds. Out of bounds. At the 42. And they get there we go, Joe. I feel like I'm always running the ball to the left side for some reason. No particular reason, but I just run everything to the left. Let's try to run. Right nice and we get the first the down. Right <laughs> They'll give it off here. Tackle made right around the 30. Got him. Made Sam Smith. Gets out of bounds. 19 yard pickup. I like going to Sam Smith. No. And not enough blocks over the there. Right around the 10 yard line. Get around him and get down. Jay Jackson. Old double J. Getting TDs today. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Looking for the corner. Bring him down. Kelly gets three yards on the carry. This man threw a pass, bruh. The halfback threw a pass. He's tackled right around the 48 yard line. Bitch. Oh my god. Now he's got room to run. Oh, he's at the 30. And they finally push him out at the 20. Come on, Jesse. And that was an outstanding run by that young man. This man got 135 yards in the first half. able to break through the secondary without much resistance at all. This man treating us like practice. Them little dummies out there. Back that down. Should have been picked off. He's running into you. Tackle him. Bro. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? 
This man laid on top of the pile, got back up, and ran in for a touchdown. The defense has to come out and make a stop in the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. Oh, my yet. God. He Bruh. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Yes. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tries to get around the corner. He's to the 20. He's pushed ah. out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Why do you Only keep kicking it to Zach Massey? Clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Oh my God. On the carry. Joe. Ain't gonna do nothing on that play. Get the Mike Potts. At the 30 -yard line. Give it to Mike Potts. Outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. I don't know what happened over there. That throw and you think, oh I don't know what God, he did. What he just he he left him wide open. Coverage. Caught out of okay, the and he shoved out of bounds at the 21 yard line. I think it was a great play call. And it was very yeah, a well nice little hit put on him as Any well. Coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down. But he held on to the ball. And that's what I like about you, Matt Aarons. Another one Looking to Matt Aarons. Oh, no! Ah, I tried to fit it into a tight window. And he probably Damn. should never have thrown that ball. When you're I've been doing good by not like throwing interceptions, and I tried to fit it in there. Take the sack, then take your chances with a throw. Oh, damn it. That's on me. And they're about to go right down the field. Just love this scenario. Find his man and they take him down. We'll give him it. Bring him down. Bring him down. Not in field goal range yet. There's a strike complete. They don't run the time out. There you go. The you don't get nothing, stupid. Line. It's halftime here, and we really you don't get anything. Fireworks in that first but it's still half. a close game because the I wanted to throw an interception. 21 17. Nobody should be surprised about it. You big dummy. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. But we are Innovation still winning the game. That excites. David Pollock and I, I think that's the, the first interception I didn't threw in the last in your game. What a two games, two or three games half. like this. This is everything we anticipated I think. this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific Just have to come out in the it's, second it's half, fun. It's, it's, it's living up get a to stop or two on the defensive side, and execute on the, on the yes, offensive it's side. quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. They are running like us out the field, way. bro. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And we, we the are one of the top teams. As far as defending the run, Please don't come down and they are running it down our throat these right teams now. Playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical. And I definitely you know, do not like that. Each other making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a. Will the second player. half Falcons David's show up? Get back on that couch. Get the remote. Get I sure hope so. Dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Because I don't I like the game being this close. Second half, Brad and Kirk ready to roll. Down All he right. goes, the 39 yard line. Joe, mm, run him over, Joe. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Scrambling around. Didn't see anything. And they push him out. Try to get out of bounds. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the and back here. Jay is hurt again. Got it to his man on the screen. Picks up six yards with that grab. That's all right, though. We still can run the offense. Nick Wiley is highly capable of doing it. All right, Jay is just having back spasms. Probably from taking all those hits. Bowling Green is up four. He scrambled. Finish him. Bing bang. Oh my God! Somebody was wide open. I didn't see him. Of course I didn't. Hit hard. 
If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offense. He's on the run. There we go. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Go back to Sam Smith and get another 22. Sam Smith, keep doing what you do. Zips it to the back. And they make the nah, stop at the 15 it. yard line. And we get the first the down. Yard line. Actually, he didn't do what I wanted him to do. There's going to be any. Nope, away. it's not intentional grounding. Okay. <laughs> And no block. He throws it. I tried it. Anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the ah. Bowling Green is a yeah. four. He gets it up, and it's good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Okay. So Iowa is up three on Illinois still. I think the last time we seen it, they were up 3-0. Now 17-14. Watching closely all day long. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. Both teams seem to be fighting for a top 25 spot. And the halfback throwing the ball again, bruh. Oh hell no! So you telling me that this guy is a quarterback disguised as a halfback? He passes it. Oh, come on, Freddy. Pick it off. Oh, fucking do it again. Okay, we cannot allow him to throw late passes across the middle. Mm, Adam Nelson by the time the running back nailing that boy to the ground. He's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him. Going deep, lays it out there. And Freddie got beat. He's finally knocked out of bounds at the 22. Come on, man. Yo, tell me with this. There's a quarterback draw. Those are running all the way. Caught a big hit didn't get much on that. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Help! We're coming for him. Man, these guys can be Not just going to sit back and let you pass like that. And take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Yeah. Kicks away. And it's good. And he's got to be happy about I would like to get off the field a little oh, a lot sooner than this. This kid is just a solid kicker. But, okay. 24-20, Bowling Green. Yeah. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. Across the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 50. I guess Zach ain't going to return one this year. Have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays. we got to stop having these field. defensive breakdowns. The ball last and a and we need to execute a little game. more often on the offensive side. Hands it to the back. Okay. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Broken tackle. He's tackled. Let right go, Joe. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Up the middle for okay. a nice game. And that will be the end of the third quarter. And we still have the lead, but it's only four right now. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Falcons lead it by four. Put your foes up. We need them. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Pull cool, back dive. It ain't the HB stretch, but it'll work. 
It'll work. I know y'all was expecting an HB stretch. I know. Let's take a peek at what's going on in Lafayette. This one was tight. And for Adams, he caps off a great day with four touchdown passes. The Boilermakers get it done by two. Meanwhile, we take you out to a battle in the Big Ten. And for Minnesota, the W today will send them bowling. And for Banks, he gets off with big numbers, five touchdown passes on the day. Best way to describe this kid, the truth. The Golden Gophers take it by six. FBI, open up! Bring him down! At the 18. Oh, that is a big hit on the Let go, Charles. Charlie. I was about to call that man Charles. Charlie Holmes. Just hope they don't call you out. Damn. There we go. Are they going for it? Probably not. They are going for it. And guess what? I'm going for it as well. Damn, man, I cannot stay on the receiver long enough for me to get the sack. Bring him down. At about the 29 yard line. They gonna get it to Adam Nelson? He was already falling. Gotta be worried because they'll still throw it out of this. Actually, it was a run at time. Bring him down. Him hard at the 32 yard line. And they go. Denied. A quarterback Denied. run? Denied. Really? They go quarterback run and now they're going to punt it. Great. That doesn't He's make any sense. Snap. Makes no sense at all. Yeah. If you're going to run the quarterback in this situation, you would think that it would be corner. a four down type of deal. But anyway, the -yard line. we'll take it. We slide, slide down. down. Jackson. And they let him off his block. And he's taken down. Right around the Come on, field. man. No, backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence That's Sam Smith. It happening. He's on the run. Throw into the dirt. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance. Yeah. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Mm -hmm. You want the fair catch it. Balls for the fair catch. Should have been stopped in the backfield. Tackle made at the 17 yard line. Bitch. Bring him down. Takes it to the 18 yard line. He stopped immediately. I'm waiting on you, my boy. Wants to go long. No, sir. Does. No, sir. We ain't going for that. Not right now. Probably should have been picked. Hit him right in the wrist. And of course, Sam Smith can't hold his block. Blew that play up. And he might want it all. Touchdown, D Hill. And he scores. Touchdown. Let's go. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. But I'm noticing more and more about this guy. Joe set up the play action. With the ball, and it's resulting in and some D Hill nice scores, executes. Just like we've seen today. I'm all for being aggressive. But I really think you got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down. Let's not give up a whole bunch of yards. With five receivers. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And that was a late hit they on the quarterback. the quarterback. A little late there. Or roughing the passer, as they would say. Oh, shit! Mm -mm. Should have let him catch it first. And Out of bounds. I believe I can and he said, "You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during and passing that's Matt situations, Smith. because he does a great Straight job of being the quarterback." As we Get saw it right in. there. 
Oh yeah, big boy, rise up. It'll be short. Yeah. And, that one should do it. and that's a turnover. Here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. Wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are. And of insane. course, we lose four yards on it. And execution is flawless. And he's tackled at the Handed 19. Handed off to Joe. And he will. He's out to the 30. And he's gonna he's get a whole lot 40. more than. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a whole lot more than that. At the 45 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Let go, Joe. Get them honey hearts, my boy. He's gonna try and scramble. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I could just take a knee. But why would I do that? Tries to buy some time. Deep ball. Why would I do that? And I got Zach Massey. <laughs> and they boo him. I don't care. And I will take down Illinois 26 to 21. And they improve to 73. And we'll probably move up in the top 25 ranking. Ingram or the top 25 pole. However, you want to say that. Iowa wins it 26 21. All right, so I expect them to run the clock out. Will they pass? Maybe. No. It's a run. Bring them down. Game is over. And after giving up 135 yards to that guy in the first half. He finished the, the game with 173. This guy while they've got him so down the line he only got like, well, that'll definitely be in his future. What, 30 some yards? To sit back and just enjoy this performance and, in the and second really half. The play caller, the quarterback, the Jay finished line, the, the game the as the player of the game. Excuse me, my throat is almost like I want to burp. <laughs> but Jay was the player of the game. Made the stats look a whole lot better there at the end. Y'all know that I really don't do that a whole lot, but we did it today. And we stayed on pace with what we score and what we give up pretty much. And we win easily. It was close there for a minute. It was. Don't get me wrong. Like this this was not a, just a pushover game. But we did what we needed to do. We get the win. There's Zach Massey's TD right there. If he get behind you, ain't nobody going to catch him. There's Mike Potts and a guy from the other side we don't care about. Then we got D. Hill. And there's Zach Massey. All right, let's take a look at the player stats here. Jay with 16 of 24 for 256. Not his best game, but that definitely was not his worst game. Had four TDs, had an interception, tried to fit the ball into a tight spot. I know better than that, but I did it anyway, and y'all see what happened. But he did complete 66% of his passes, which is right on par with what he does for the season. On the rushing side, we got Joe McKnight with 133 yards on the ground on 16 attempts. Also had a TD. Jay also chipped in 54 yards on the ground and a TD. On the receiving side, we got Mike Potts leading all receivers with 89 yards and two TDs on four receptions. We got Sam Smith with 57 yards on four receptions. And of course, Zach Messi caught that TD pass, 32-yard TD. And D. Hill caught that 27-yard TD pass, and he had 34 yards total. So not that much, but like I said, we did what we needed to do. On the defensive side, we got Terrence Harper leading all tacklers with seven solo tackles. Kelvin Alexander also had seven solo tackles and two tackles for a loss. He also added a sack in with that. Eric Rams had six solo tackles. Freddie Hill had six solo tackles and a pass deflection. Should have been an interception. I think Freddie had like two or three chances at an interception. Michael Jackson had two TFLs. Adam Nelson had two TFLs. Charlie Holmes had a sack. So did Matt Smith and Clint Stevenson. Freddie Hill and Jesse Williams had the pass deflections. The only pass deflections on the game. Okay, we got some games around the country. We got Appalachian State taking down South Carolina 36. 
27 to 31. We got number 16 Ohio State taking down Indiana 35 to 23. We have number 12 Arkansas State taking down Texas State 22 to 21. Had a close one there. We got Western Michigan taking down Miami of Ohio 33 to 31. We got Syracuse taking down Wake Forest 31 to 7. And we got North Texas taking down UTEP 19 to 7. All right, if you'll take a look at the game stats. We did come out with an early lead in the first quarter, battle back and forth in the second quarter, and we head into halftime with a 21 to 17 lead. Pretty much tied in the third quarter, we did 3-3, and we ended the fourth quarter on a 21 to 0 run, which led to a 45 to 20 victory for the Falcons. We won three out of the six categories down here at the bottom. Well, actually, we only won two out of the six because the first downs were tied. We won the rushing yard battle. We lost the passing yard battle by 18 and we lost the turnover battle but we dominated the time of possession and we came out with the win that's the most important thing don't get too caught up in the stats because the stats can be misleading of course Jay was the offensive player of the game and Kelvin Alexander was the defensive player of the game with seven tackles two tackles for a loss and a sack okay so we do have a little bit of team news here we already know about the custom recruits every last single one of them we are going into recruiting battles with right now Paul Gandy committed to Georgia mm, not really too surprised about that and Sean Morgan has committed to the team the 73 overall wide receiver welcome to BGSU all right we can do a breakdown of the recruiting board as nothing much has really changed we're still in recruiting battles with the custom recruits still losing here we're actually gaining here which is good losing there still on top here but we still wait on that visit from Ohio State we're leading on Ted again and it'll do it for the custom recruits I added Tim Allen to the board because we need a tight end. I know he's a receiver, but I couldn't find any tight ends to throw on here. But this guy is 6'4", 220. I feel like he can play the tight end position, the backup tight end position anyway, because the tight end position is going to Sam Smith. But we do need a backup. So I decided to add this guy to the board and we need to throw some points on him because we do have extra. We're leading on this defensive tackle. We're gaining on this cornerback. We haven't offered him a scholarship. Let's offer him a scholarship. We're gaining on this guy but it's very little. Not too concerned about that because we really don't need a whole lot of cornerbacks. And Jonathan Williams, he is a Juco receiver slash running back, looks like. Really don't need him, so I'm not really concerned about putting a whole lot of points on them. I guess I can put the final 100 on them. That way we ain't just wasting points. And of course, this is our recruiting class. I think we only added one guy and that was Sean Morgan. That's pretty much it. Okay, we got the top 25 poll as we are still number one. Of course, Oklahoma is sitting at number two. Looks like they're the only undefeated team besides us in the top 10. Texas is sitting at three, North Carolina at four, Stanford at five, Alabama at six. Alabama is creeping back up there. USC is sitting at seven, even though they have four losses. I don't like that. Georgia is sitting at eight. Ohio drops from three to nine after losing to Toledo. Get your butt out of the top five can be taking L's like that and Florida State moves up to number 10 need to see who else lost because that triggered some movement UCF they lost to Rutgers which drops them from 8 to 13 who else lost LSU lost who else Ole Miss is the new team in the top 25 somebody else lost Tennessee they lost to Vandy which drops them from 11 to 19 Iowa is a new team in the top 25 shout out to Iowa Rutgers is a new team in the top 25 Michigan drops from 20 to 24 they don't drop completely out which they shouldn't because michigan is a good team and miami is a new team in the top 25 all right so in the big 10 east i don't think there's anybody that can come take the spot from us actually there's a nobody every team in the conference or at least on the east side has at least three losses so we shouldn't be worried about anybody on this side on the west side same thing over here every team on the west side has at least three losses oh boy the big 10 went from looking good to not looking so hot right now all right let's take a look at the Heisman watch as we have Lance Clark sitting at the top spot from Arkansas State we got Jamarcus Garner from Ohio sitting at the second spot we got Joe oh Joe he's moving up in the poll right now he's sitting at number three we got Chris Smith sitting at the fourth spot and we do have a new face a new guy in the Heisman watch Jay Jackson the sophomore QB from BGSU yes sir all right if you made it to this part of the episode you already know how to go on this show it's the outro bitch
Yes, sir. Got another solid win against another solid team in the Big Ten. Now we have to move on to Michigan State. Their record doesn't look very good, but I have a real, real funny feeling that this team will be much better than what their record shows. You want to know how I know? It always happens. It always seems to happen. But we need to go out here and we need to prepare for this team like they're the number one team in the country, even though we're the number one team in the country. But if we do that, I'm pretty sure we can get a victory and we can improve to 11-1. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. Also, hop in that comment section. Talk to your boy. I talk back. And if you talk enough, you can get on this shout out list. And speaking of the shout out list, I got it right here. Shout out to Product Visuals, Optimal Prime 870, The Rapper 10,000, aka The General, or Master 777, Thomas Bays, Arsenio Patillo, Eric Rams, Dare, Matt Aarons, DRNA Patterson, Andrew Minton, Roscoe underscore 34, Clip. Slapshot23, Ethan Marlowe, JK YouTube, Eaglecraft, Little Herd Guy, Tony Hawkins, Jordan Barker, Tim Alvarez, Afro Magic, Smoking A609, and Caleb Harper. I really do appreciate you supporting the channel, doing all the good things you do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to try to keep bringing these videos as fast as I can, or when I feel like it. <laughs> But anyway, it's a new year. It's 2023. I'm actually recording this on January 1. If you want to know, I think I already said this earlier in the episode. But anyway, happy new years. Hopefully we can go up even further than we did in the previous year. And I want to say to all you guys, I really hope that every last single one of you guys have a great year. I hope 2023 brings everything you want in this year. I really do. But I'm your HC. This is BG. Season 6. Big 6. Only two games left, Michigan State and number seven, Georgia. It ain't over with yet, folks. Come back next time. I'm out.